In the radical halogenation of alkanes, we often encounter a familiar idea, regioselectivity. All right, so let's look at this reaction. We'll look at a few reactions. We can take methane. We've already seen this. Treat it with um, chlorine and light, H nu, and we get our halogenated product. So let's look at a couple more reactions. We could do this on ethane. Let's write this a little more compactly. Treat that with chlorine and light. Great, okay, that's totally um, as expected. We did a halogenation of the alkane. Now, instead of ethane, let's do propane. And now this is not quite as clear cut because we could get the halide on the end of the chain, which would be, you know, not surprising, or we could get the halide in the middle of the chain, which also might not be surprising. So here's the primary halide, or we can get the secondary halide. As it turns out, if you perform this reaction, the major product is a secondary halide. So why is that? So this is an example of, of regioselectivity. Um, one of, some of these CHs in this molecule are more reactive than others. The, the reaction occurs on one region of the molecule in preference to others. So as it turns out, it, it preferentially gives a secondary halide. So why is this? Well, if we think about the radicals that have to get formed, in order to form the secondary halide, we have to go through this particular radical. In order to form the primary halide, we're going to have to form this radical. So, which is more stable in terms of rad in how we measure the stability of radicals? Well, secondary radicals are more stable than primary radicals. So, the the observed regiochemical outcome on the right hand side of the slide, the observed regiochemical outcome is driven by the stability of the intermediates that lead to that um, product. This is really not that different from something like Markovnikov's rule where we, we saw we, we formed the more highly substituted alcohol and it's because we wanted to go through the more highly substituted carbocation. Well, now we just want to go through the more highly substituted radical. So this, this regioselectivity pops up in all kinds of halogenation. So if we were going to do a radical halogenation, on this alkane, we have all kinds of hydrogens in this molecule that we could pull off. Uh, some of them are on primary carbons, some of them are on secondary carbons, and there's just one that's on a tertiary carbon. Well, guess which one is preferred? It's the tertiary carbon. So this is our preferred product for this reaction. And why is that? Well, we go, we form that product because this is the most stable radical that we can form in the reaction. So these radical halogenations um, demonstrate regioselectivity, and the reg regioselectivity um, is consistent with the reaction trying to have a preference for them as making as highly substituted radical intermediate as possible.